Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, north of the uh, Southern State Parkway and south of the LIE. Uh, Omni has everything you need to make sure you're prepared for this hurricane season and maybe to get your yard in order for the autumn. So uh, head over to Omni. Uh, and uh, you give them a call at 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Well, it was a hot, humid day. Temperatures reached up to around or just over 90 for highs. And we've just got some widely scattered thunderstorms that have popped up. The atmosphere is just so stable that for most of the area, in, fa- in spite of the fact that we have all this tropical humidity around, it's just become very difficult to generate showers and storms. You can see uh, the clouds on the satellite loop blowing up across Virginia down into North and South Carolina and into Northern Georgia. Uh, that's where all the action is. And also uh, back further West on the West side of the Appalachians in parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. And as we uh, check out the latest radar, you can see widely scattered cells in upstate New York and over into Vermont and New Hampshire. Nothing going on uh, along the I-95 corridor from Boston all the way down to Washington, D.C. And then you see the showers and storms in western Virginia, uh, down into western North Carolina and South Carolina, and some scattered cells uh, in the Gulf states, uh, getting some patchy cells here right along the Gulf Coast and along the Florida panhandle and off the coast of southeastern Louisiana. Some action around the Great Lakes this evening uh, and also uh, up further north uh, into the northern plains and northern Rockies. The Storm Prediction Center, uh, not a whole lot happening here uh, with marginal risk uh, back from Wyoming into eastern eastern Wyoming, eastern Colorado, northeastward to uh, southern Minnesota and Wisconsin where we have a small area of slight risk. Only a marginal risk being indicated tomorrow in a small area down in Arizona, in southern Arizona. Otherwise, it's general thunderstorm risks everywhere else. And I really don't see too much happening tomorrow with regards to showers and thunderstorms, much like today. And the same goes for Monday. And in fact, on their long range, you don't see this too often, but on days four through eight, they have the potential for se- the potential for severe weather as being too low. And rainfall over the next seven days, uh, half to three quarters, uh, maybe we'll get something from uh, the frontal boundaries that will be moving through this week. Uh, a little heavier down in the uh, Appalachians and in the lower Ohio and Tennessee Valley along the immediate Gulf Coast from southeast Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle, one and a half to three inches plus and also through parts of Wisconsin and into Iowa, and continuing to see wet weather uh, going on in the southwest and up through uh, the Rockies. Now, uh, we are looking for a break uh, in this weather pattern, and it's coming. Uh, We've noted that the GFS has been telegraphing a, a, let's call it a deep trough, in the eastern part of the United States later this week. The European was saying no. And today's run of the European has now joined the party with the GFS showing a trough in the east, not quite as deep as the GFS, but bear in mind that this model had nothing at all uh, coming into the east this week. So it's finally woken up to the idea that there's going to be some troughing in the east, and that should bring some genuine relief here, uh, maybe starting as early as Thursday, but really getting going for next Friday and into next weekend. So that's some good news. And that trough in the east kind of holds on, or at least the troughing in the east kind of holds on through the 10-day period on the on the European. So maybe these end, what seems like these endless strings of 90-degree days uh, <clears throat> will finally come to an end. And I'll just show you the comparison here uh, with the GFS as it drops that trough into the eastern part of the United States and uh, it's a little stronger than what the European is. And actually, the GFS got a little stronger today on the day side run. So we feel fairly confident that we're going to see uh, a break. And there's actually even another trough behind that uh, as we uh, move through the week of August 15th, uh, getting uh, into the eastern part of the United States. So finally, I think we could say with some confidence if we see this, still seeing this tomorrow, folks, we can you know put it to bed that the the heat and the humidity 
are going to break. And meanwhile, as far as what's going to happen from day to day, you can expect temperatures topping out uh, in the lower 90s for the next uh, several days. Not going to see anything uh, that's extreme. Uh, we're not going to see days of going up to the upper 90s to around 100 degrees. So that's good. So our pop-ups disappear uh, tonight, uh, tomorrow. It's a uh, west-southwest to southwest wind. Maybe a few scattered thunderstorms in the late afternoon and evening. Perhaps tomorrow they might be a little bit closer to the coast as opposed to being further inland. But once again, don't expect much. And then Monday, we have a... Uh, weather front that's going to move on through it's another one of these weather fronts that's not going to amount to too much uh it's it's going to try to part of it goes by to our north the front lags and then pushes to the coast on tuesday with the chance for showers and thunderstorms and then just sort of lays there as we wait for a stronger front to come through later in the week and that will push in uh some uh, dry air and if uh, we very quickly i will put up the uh, dew point map so you can see what we have to look for, look forward to. And this is next Saturday, but let me just back up here. Uh, the dew points are still on the high side into Thursday. And then after that, we see the dew points really come down so that by next Friday evening, we've got dew points, if the GFS is correct, dew points in the upper 40s. And that is comfortable. And we're looking at dew points in the 40s next Saturday uh, and in the uh, 40s and 50s uh, next Sunday. And even still holding on to some drier air going into next Monday. Not the Monday that's coming up right now. We're looking at a week down the road. And this first front that that's gets through here, you can see more of the dry air is up in upstate New York and in New England for Tuesday and Wednesday. That's why we have to wait for that stronger push and that deeper trough to come in later in the week to bring real relief. And by the way, that will also come with temperature relief too. I wouldn't be surprised if on one of those days, uh, we get a day where temperatures top out in the very pleasant upper 70s and low 80s. Weather in 5, brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number, and the website is omnitruevalue.com. The Joe and Joe show, which normally on Sundays is at 11 a.m. Eastern time, is going to be a night show tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. At 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, just like our regular weekday shows. So uh, we hope to see you then. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.